Let's talk about big data in real life. This is nothing new that we have seen big data. It has been used since ancient times. And here is an example in real life in the past with big data is used. Consider a classroom where a teacher is teaching several students. After teaching a particular chapter, the teacher gives them a test. All the students write the test and give the exam papers. The teacher has to check all the papers in the weekend and do all that work. So the teacher thinks about it like she has to check all the papers for all the students and it takes a lot of her time in the weekends and keeps her busy. So she comes with a very intelligent idea. What she does, after the students have completed the test, she asks them to change their pen to a red color pen and tells her them the answers for each particular question. Based on that, the students record the answers, correct them, mention the corrections in the paper and score themselves. This way, the exam results are completed much sooner than the teacher has to spend the whole weekend doing that. If you think about it, this is an example of big data. Let me explain how. The teacher was the big server, if you think, doing all the work. Instead, what she did, she made it parallel. The work was being done by individual students. Consider them as individual machines or nodes in your cluster. The papers were not shifted from the students to the teacher. They were test checked and verified right there at their place. So each node had to use their own data. It's like processing in the nodes happening at their own nodes instead of moving large chunk of data from one node to another. So if you think about all this, this is an example of big data. Hope you like it and see that big data happening all over us, around us since ancient time.